Hello, I am Juliana Ezekiel Iweribo, and uh, my baby's name is Oluoma Giovanna Iweribo. We are Nigerians and uh, we came in contact with this hospital through Pet Fernandez Foundation. My baby was diagnosed of a hole in the heart, medically termed VSD, ventricular septal defect. And um, in course of consultations down in my country, we discovered she needed a surgery. And every attempt we made, for some reason, didn't pull through. So somewhere through contacts after contacts, Pet Fernandez Foundation came to the rescue, linked us up with Narayana Hospital in India, Bangalore, and uh, we, we found our way here. And the medical experience has been thorough. Yes, stressful, but thorough. They took their time to examine baby's condition in general. And eventually, the surgery was done. Thankfully, it was successful. Every um, anticipated concern came off the other way around. Her recovery was very impressive to me. Yes, I am not a medical doctor, but the report was always very calming. I didn't get any reason to be anxious. Every time I asked from the ICU, baby is fine. She's responding. The injections are reducing. She will soon be taken out. Eventually, she left the ICU, went to the ward, and she was getting better by the day. And thankfully, I've noticed some improvement. Her breathing has generally improved because before now she used to breathe very fast because of the condition sometimes when you hear her breathing you'll be scared it's really really fast but now the breathing is normal uh, her recovery has been very progressive her recovery has been very progressive she is regaining herself by the day and really i am grateful to the foundation and i'm grateful to the medical team at Narayana, very, very thorough at what they do. I will give that to them. I give that to them, but they can stress somebody. But all the same, thank you. The name of the doctor who performed my daughter's surgery is Dr. Sims Ray. And once again, I want to say thank you to the medical team at the Cardiac Institute, Narayana, Bangalore, India. Thank you very much. This is uh, Dr. Chena Samaridi. I am a senior consultant, a pediatric cardiac surgeon from Narayana Rudyalaya. So, been working here last uh, 18 years now. So, basically concerned with uh, you know pediatric cardiac surgery complex. My main area of interest is the complex pediatric congenital heart surgery. This is about the patient, uh, baby Oloma. One point, uh, one and a half year old actually. So present to, to us with, uh, uh, you know, failure to thrive. Basically, baby didn't put on weight and present with recurrent respiratory infections. And in fact, uh, some neurological, uh, you know, uh, underdevelopment as well. So uh, baby had underlying congenital heart disease. It's called a large ventricular septal defect, which ideally requires procedure by three to four months of age. But since in a country like, you know, countries like uh, underdeveloped countries like Nigeria and uh, many other places, these, uh, you know, the sophisticated uh, congenital surgery is not, you know, developed there. there. So they have to come all the way here uh, so for the procedure. But unfortunately, it was a bit late because the baby was already having the severe pulmonary arterial hypertension in view of a large ventricular septal defect, which as I told you earlier, ideally to be operated by for by three to six months of age. So uh, as far as the baby is concerned, the, you know, we did uh, uh, you know, open heart surgery for this baby and closed the ventricular septal defect. And in fact, the baby had uh, an uneventful recovery, though stayed a little longer in the intensive care. Had an uneventful recovery, and we did discharge the baby. 
and now that we have closed the ventricular septal defect obviously the pulmonary arterial hypertension which is consequent to the you know ventricular septal defect should would come down probably over a period of time uh, so and baby would start gaining weight as well and as far as uh, neurological uh, status is concerned that's of course we can't predict about it maybe they need to consult the neurologist uh, for the underlying uh, neurological issue so to conclude actually uh, ideally this uh, you know facilities should be available in each every, every country in the world because they are all life saving procedures in fact uh, you know many of these procedures are curable so once you operate quite early in life uh, if there are no residual uh, you know defects they can be they may be cured for life so such being the case i uh, you know each and every country should have their setup uh, in uh, you know in advanced setup in uh, you know medical facilities to treat this kind of diseases so you know the, our country is one of the countries is blessed with you know the, the, the you know rapid development in the field of uh, medicine more so the you know in rather in every specialty more so the cardiac surgery as well